I'm uh, Thierry Debert. I'm working in uh, Gustave Roussy uh, Cancer Center in uh, Paris, uh, France. And uh, we will discuss uh, during these uh, few minutes uh, research uh, in lung uh, cryoablation and mostly the eclipse trials. As you know, uh, cryoablation has uh, advantages uh, over other ablation techniques. You can uh, use uh, several probes uh, at the same time, and you can deliver uh, simultaneously uh, the energy uh, to target the tumor. Uh, you can see your eyes ball, which means that you can see the ablation process uh, going on, and you can have a rough evaluation of your ablation volume during treatments. And cryoablation have been reported uh, to be able to preserve uh, most of the structure. Uh, that's probably uh, an advantage in terms of safety. Um, Galid is very nicely uh, sponsoring uh, research. And uh, one of the key uh, research projects uh, we had with Galid is the Eclipse trials. And Eclipse stands for evaluation of uh, cryoablation in, in lung metastasis, uh, safety and efficacy. Uh, we are very happy that the trial was completed uh, quite uh, rapidly in, in center in Europe and United States. And uh, the very nice surprise uh, of the preliminary results is that we were able to report uh, last year uh, in Journal of Thoracic Oncology that the control of the disease was 94.2% at one year. This 94.2% uh, uh, control of the disease is of course very uh, impressive at one year. Uh, it's probably uh, above what have been reported uh, for radiofrequency or stereotactic body radiation therapy. Of course, this is uh, preliminary data and we have to wait for a longer follow-up that will be done uh, during the next uh, five years. In the meantime, uh, Galil sponsors another research project which is called the Solstice Study. And this study uh, has been run over uh, United States and Europe with centers like Gustave Roussy, uh, Bergonier, UCLA, Mayo Clinic and Cornell University. And we are very happy to disclose that we have enrolled 226 tumors. So all patients, all tumors have been enrolled. And we are now on the follow-up process, looking at, of course, local efficacy, but overall survival and control of the disease to the lung. Hopefully, uh, we'll have the result of this uh, pivotal study uh, in a few years. And I hope it will be able uh, to change the way we treat patients, uh, to change the way we are able to control a lung metastasis.